Hey guys, this is Dr. Nene. I practice as a cardiothoracic vascular and general surgeon in the U.S. for almost 20 years, some of the most rewarding years of my life. I now have an opportunity to work as a health tech innovator whose goal is simple, to improve lives and lifestyles by increasing awareness and access to world-class international medical standards. This channel is a part of that effort, and the idea is to explore the best practices in healthcare globally. So join me on our journey to make the world a better place. Hey guys, welcome back. Staying cool in India is all the rage, but what I'm talking about is something different. Today I'd like to talk to you about a topic that affects millions of people all over India and all over the world in the way of heat waves. They're becoming more common as global warming occurs, and we're seeing rising temperatures everywhere. In that context, it's important to protect from the harmful effects of extreme temperatures. And not just for yourself, but for the people who are most vulnerable. So let's define a heat wave. A heat wave is a prolonged period of very high temperatures accompanied by humidity, which occurs in tropical and subtropical areas as well as other areas. It is particularly dangerous in India because we live in the tropics and subtropical regions for much of the country. In fact, the body is well acclimated and well positioned to deal with that and will maintain its body temperatures uh, within one degree over a very wide range of external temperatures of up to 20 to 30 degree Fahrenheit changes. It's amazing to me that it can use heat shock proteins to repair the damage that occurs with extended exposure to high temperatures. But all of this fails in the wrong context. The body normally uses a combination of techniques, including increasing the heart rate, increasing the respiration, and thereby moving the blood through more commonly through the radiators, otherwise known as the lungs. In addition to that, it causes us to sweat and thereby create evaporative heating, sort of like a swamp cooler. But once that humidity increases over 75% and the outside temperature is greater than the skin temperature, all that goes out the window. Evaporative cooling fails and your other types of cooling are very ineffective. It's in those times that we get into trouble. During a heat wave, our bodies become very dehydrated and it happens fairly quickly. This can lead to electrolyte imbalances, it can also lead to end organ damage, and in the worst cases, heat exhaustion, and then once neurological symptoms are associated with it, it can lead to heat stroke. Thousands of people a year die of this. And suffer, suffering from this is equally bad in the way of the symptoms with dizziness, fatigue, headaches, and other symptoms. In the worst cases with heat stroke, which occurs when neurologic symptoms set in, it can lead to catastrophic multi-organ system failure and even death. It's therefore essential that we find ways to not only prevent, but to also treat people in these types of climates. So what do you do, you ask me? And I would say there's five basic pro tips which you can observe which will help you with this. So here go your five tips. Get ready to write them down. Actually, you don't have to. You can watch this video again. The first is to stay hydrated. We've talked about this in a previous episode. And in males, it's 3.7 liters normally. In females, 2.7 liters. But with increasing temperatures and dehydration, you have to stay up with it. Drink before you feel thirsty. That's the one pro tip which is critical because by the time you're thirsty, you're already behind the eight ball. Secondly, don't drink sugary drinks or alcohol because they will increase your urination and thereby cause worse dehydration. Next pro tip is stay cool. All right, that's not an easy one for everyone, but the bottom line is try to stay indoors. Remember when your grandma and your mother told you don't go out after 10 a.m. and wait until 4 p.m.? Well, all my Caucasian neighbors in the U.S. would you know, cringe and they'd say, well, the funnest part is to go play out when it's warm or go to the beach when it's warm. All us Indians would be stuck at home waiting until 4 or 5 p.m. It's very hard to go surfing in a cool weather when you can do that. But anyway, the idea is to stay cool. 
The other way to stay cool if you do start to have heat exhaustion is by cooling your body down with cold showers. And that is actually a use uh, which is used widely. The next is to dress appropriately. Wear lightweight, loose fitting clothes and avoid dark colors. Dark colors absorb sunlight and they get hotter. You can do the experiment yourself, go outside and put a white paper and a black paper down and you'll see what the difference is. Next, number four, is to protect your skin. Wear enough sunscreen of high enough SPF to protect your skin from getting burned. Being burned is no fun, and we'll talk about that in another episode, but the idea is to protect yourself from getting there. In addition to that, put on a big wide-brimmed hat or wear some type of hat because 30% of your heat is lost from your head, but it's also a very high uh, blood flow region. And then also wear sunglasses because they protect your retinas, but they also protect your eyeballs and the other areas which are vulnerable. Lastly, and most importantly, keep an eye on vulnerable individuals. The very young and the very old are the people at worst threat because their homeostatic systems, their ability to adapt is very low. But there's also people with underlying health conditions who may have heart disease, bad diabetes, or other problems who are at risk. In conclusion, heat waves are becoming more common and we live in a part of the world where any amount of heat can be dangerous. By taking a few simple precautions, we can stay healthy and survive the extreme heat and help our friends and neighbors to do the same. Remember to stay hydrated, stay cool, dress appropriately, protect your skin, and keep an eye on vulnerable individuals. Appreciate you spending the time with me and I hope this helps. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like what we're saying, the subscribe button so that you can see more of our, our papers. And then don't forget to hit the bell icon so that every time a new episode pops up, you will be the first to see it. And finally, if you like everything, share it with people because this could save a life.